What's up everyone? Another week of knowledge from the underwriting guy. I have a good one today. I know it's a little old, but I have been seeing this come up more and more in my files recently, so I would like to think that the industry in a whole is seeing an influx of these files as well. Today we're going to be discussing COVID-19 mortgage forbearance from Vanny and Freddie. Let's go ahead and dive in. For a borrower to qualify for a new mortgage with missed forbearance payments, the borrower must be reinstated. The mortgage loan is reinstated when the borrower pays all the missed payments and brings the loan current and pays all the fees. If a borrower is current on a mortgage loan and there are missed payments, the borrower is eligible for a mortgage if all missed payments are made and we follow the rules on what we're about to discuss. Let's discuss on how a borrower can reinstate the loan. This way is one of the easiest ways and personally from the underwriting side, it's a lot less risk as the borrower has all the money to pay back what was missed. All the borrower has to do is pay all the forbearance missed payments and all the fees, but the reinstatement cannot be paid from the proceeds of a mortgage. Please make sure you look at your mortgage statement and your payoffs. Most of the time, those documents will clearly identify if a borrower is in a forbearance and how much they currently owe. Loss mitigation due to COVID-19. Just think three payments and not all at once, and you're golden. If a borrower completes the loss mitigation process and the borrower resolves the loss mitigation, the borrower is eligible for a new mortgage. If a borrower has a payment plan, the borrower must complete three payments, not all at once. Payments deferred, borrower must complete three payments from the start of the payment plan, not all at once again. Modification, borrower must complete three months of trial payments, again, not all at once. For any other program, the borrower must either complete three monthly payments, not all at once, or complete the program. And then they are eligible for a new mortgage. As always, I appreciate everyone tuning in this week. If you have any questions, please email me. If you like content like this, please subscribe to YouTube as well as like and follow us on Facebook. I appreciate all of you guys and see you guys next week.